Okay, so how to do the, uh, the observer tool. So, whatever in this world, one way to see it is in this world, there's lots of phenomena that pass. Lots of phenomena that pass. And one way to see all the phenomena that is passing is, is that all the, all the phenomena that passes are like clouds. And there's different types of clouds. Uh, so there's clouds, there's clouds which are thoughts, there's clouds which are feelings, uh, there's clouds which are sensations, there's clouds which are vibrations, there's clouds which are location, there's uh, time clouds. So all of these are little types of clouds which can be observed to come and go or change. So another thing to recognize with using the observer tool is one is experiencing, when one starts the tool, one, is, one experiences self as one's attachments or one's identification. So that's the starting point. So whenever you sit down and start the observing, how you experience self, i.e. the self that you experience, the limited self that you experience yourself to be, that will give you uh, information as to what are your ego attachments or identifications, because you only experience your attachments. If there was no attachments, then no experiencing of being a cloud would be experienced. You would experience the the non-cloud nature. So, so if, say, one sits down and one experiences oneself as thoughts, then that means that there is attachment or interest uh, with thoughts or an addiction to thoughts. That's why they're being experienced. If there was no attachment or interest to thoughts, there would be no uh, there would be n one would not be experiencing that the thoughts are what one is, or you could say that there would be n no person experience the thoughts. There'd be no personal attachment, or there'd be no no body there, shall we say, no personality there, saying these are my thoughts that wouldn't exist. So that there is that experiencing of thoughts on a personal level, or on a self-centered level, like a center with a self that has, is owning these thoughts, then, that, then one can start to apply the observer. So, how that is experienced is that, is like, uh, it's not a mental thing, but the, what it talks, you know, is to experience the, ob the detached observation of thoughts. So if there is like per if there is a personal identification or if there is like ownership of the thought, like there's a me, and these thoughts are mine, then there must be observing of the me, the my thoughts, which is not personal, which is impersonal. So impersonal means detached. Like uh, so, if if there is a deeper witnessing or a sky in which the thoughts happen. I mean, the sky, even though clouds may happen in the sky, the sky isn't like a person. You know, it's like phenomena are, are occurring and the clouds are just passing by. So it's like a deeper witnessing. So what there's, so what, that's a spiritual experience, suddenly to recognize there's a witnesser of thoughts, an impersonal witnesser of thoughts. Then, um, it, one then, without using the head, because now one is the witnesser of thoughts, is like what what is becoming aware of what is being experienced next. If what is being experienced next uh, is uh, located somewhere, or if it's like concentrated somewhere, or if it's like a feeling, or a location, then all of these are. Uh, the next thing is to be the deeper observer of these things. So, if one witnesses that 
there seems to be a sense of location. Well, what is witnessing? Be, become that detached observer that is aware of location. And if the detached observing field that is observing location is in location, then there has to be a detached observing field that is observing that location. So going through this experientially, without thinking about it, it will then take you to a place of observing which is locationless. Just like when one goes to the detached observing of thoughts, that field of observation is thoughtless. No thoughts exist in that, because now one is the observer of thoughts. When one is the observer of location as an experience, then that is locationless. If there is an experiencing of time, like a, it seems that something knows a second has passed, something is aware that ten seconds has passed, there is something which is witnessing or observing the experiencing or the, or the subconscious counting of time. Something is witnessing that. When one goes to the detached observing of time, when one is in that place, then that observer is timeless. So as one gets these deeper, goes, is experiencing the deeper observation fields, it's like as one detaches or lets go of the identification with thought, now the experience is thoughtlessness. As one is the, the um, witnesser of location, then the, the experience is locationless. And then when one is the witnesser of time, then one is timeless. So eventually, if one is now in that where there is no tracking of phenomena, no tracking of time, uh, no hooking into time or location or feeling or thought, then that experience is beyond all of those. So that's how one does the observer. And this is not a mental process because as soon as you go through, if you re-identify to anything, like you're, one is experiencing the observing of thoughts, which is thoughtless, and then re-hooks into thoughts, and it can seem like the thinking is re-initiated, but it's not. One one one's the deeper observing, then one goes to the next level without re-engaging the thought field to, to get to deeper layers of observing. So we'll try that for five minutes, and then we'll see um, We'll see how we get on with that.